Hey everyone, welcome back to my channel. So for today's video, I thought I would share some really fun and easy Valentine's ideas with Valentine's being next week. I thought it was the perfect time to share some really fun ideas. A huge thank you to Cricut for sponsoring today's video. I'll also be sharing some really cute projects I made with Cricut, so make sure you stick around. It's gonna be a fun video. So jumping right into our first project, I found the cutest little pot at Target. It's from the Hearth and Hand collection and I wanted to put a little olive tree or little olive seedling in there. It was $11.99, which it is a smaller pot, but I love it. And it's a good little starter pot. So if things get a little bit big for it, you can always repot them, but I love this for little seedlings. You can also find a six pack of seedlings for around $20 on Amazon. So you can also use these for gifts, for little favors. I love this idea and I love this little pot. If you didn't wanna buy the pot from Target, you can also just buy a simple white pot and do the little heart stamp yourself, but a super easy little gift idea and it's perfect for inside and can eventually be moved outside when it gets a little bit bigger. But I thought this was a really simple, cute, minimal idea for a coworker or a friend or even just a little something for yourself too. I have this right by my sink and it is so pretty. So for floral type gifts, I always love getting my florals from places like Trader Joe's or Costco where you get a really nice bouquet of flowers, but I always like to dress them up a little bit. So I like to grab a little bit of extra eucalyptus or just some extra filler. And then I like to kind of redo them at home. If you're in a hurry, you can always just grab the bouquet. But if I have time, I always try to spruce it up and add a little bit something more, especially if it's for somebody special like my mom or sisters or something. I just wanna make it a little bit more fancy. You could even do um, a table centerpiece or for a party. It's also a great hostess gift and it can save you some money as well. So what I do is I just unwrap all the florals. I unwrap the rubber band. You can also keep the rubber bands if you don't have any because you will need them again later on. And depending what you are going to make, so if you're going to make something that's more for a vase or a container, um, you kind of want it to look good from all angles unless you want um, a bouquet type that's going to be a little bit more like laying down. You just want to kind of prepare for what you're going to make. So I'll show you both ways. And I am no florist by any means. I just kind of go with my gut and what I think looks good. I always like a lot of extra eucalyptus because I love the idea of taking it out from the bouquet and you can also use it in your shower as well. So it kind of doubles. I love that idea. I also cut some of those stems just a little bit shorter. They do come from the grocery stores pretty long, which is nice because it allows you for that length if you want to keep it. But I'm going to cut quite a bit off using my pruners and then I'm going to switch from the bouquet type to more of a laying down look now. And so I'm going to wrap the bottom of the stems in kind of a burlap linen look just to kind of add a little bit of texture and make it look a little bit different. So I'm going to add some extra eucalyptus to that so it really kind of encloses that bouquet really pretty. And then once I get it all how I want it, I'm going to tie it together at the bottom with um, either a rubber band. I used a hair tie. You can see this square or rectangular shaped burlap that I have. I'm going to fold that top piece down so it hides that rough edge. Make it almost kind of like a triangle and almost like a paper airplane. And then just wrap those sides um, in tight and then fold the under part really well and then I'm going to tie it all together You could even go a little bit longer. Mine was a little tad short, but that's okay I think I can tie it all together really well with a piece of fabric or some ribbon and it just adds a little something extra and kind of makes it look a little bit more expensive and this burlap I actually found at Hobby Lobby you can also use something really pretty like linen 
They have all these different colors of burlap, which I feel like it's just a little bit different. I have this really pretty piece of like a burnt orange type fabric that was really pretty. So I'm gonna use some of that. They also have really pretty ribbons. I found a couple different ribbons. If you didn't wanna wrap it in burlap, the ribbon will make such a statement just with the ribbon alone. The, there was this really pretty gingham I think this would look so pretty even without all of the fabric. They also had this really pretty linen, which I actually bought, but somehow it didn't end up in my bag. So I'm just out of that ribbon now, but I thought this was a really pretty linen. And then there was another gingham with a little bit of black in there. Really pretty options. Another tip to keep the flowers fresh, you can also wrap some foam right around the stems that's dipped in water just to give them a little bit of moisture. You can put a bag in the bottom like a Ziploc baggie or a little sandwich bag with a little bit of water to also keep moisture in as well. I love that this simple little change using some fabric or some ribbon just really elevates a simple gift like a bouquet of flowers. And I love the idea of giving this to a friend or a family member. I think it's so pretty. So when making gifts, I always love to use my Cricut. It's just a really simple and inexpensive, cost-effective way to add personal touches to gifts. So for this cute little tag, I'm just cutting out these really simple little cutouts. I will leave the link below for this exact project. If you are interested in making this, you can just click the link in my description and you can incorporate that into your Cricut design space and make this exact project. I always love watching the Cricut cutout projects and I'm just using some very simple cardstock and then the ultra satisfaction of lifting up the paper and seeing your design perfectly cut out, just lifting it away from that mat. And I'm gonna place this super cute little heart tag on this little bowl of goodies. You can see that in one of my later projects, what's inside this little bowl. It is so adorable and so simple with just some ribbon. So for this next project, my son really wanted these little mother's cookies and they're in the shape of little puppies and X's and O's for Valentine's Day for his class. So I thought I would just make some really cute, simple little Valentines to put on those little puppy dogs. So I'm just gonna put some text in my Cricut Design Space and I'm gonna write out XOXO. I'm gonna make my text pink and then the outline white. And this will actually be two pieces that I will glue on top of one another. And then I'm also gonna do them in red as well. One of my favorite things about Cricut is you can just go on to the Cricut Design Space and there are so many projects that are already there for you. So if you're lacking in the creative area, um, um, you can just pick a project and a lot of times they are so fast. This is a quick 10, 15 minute little project. I had some leftover cardstock and put these together. I think they turned out so adorable. I love that they look almost 3D like. They kind of have that bubble effect and I think my son is going to love them. They are so cute on the little puppy dog treats. So I just put a little dab of hot glue on these. You can also use those little glue dots to make them kind of pop a little bit more. And because I used the white cardstock on the back piece, he can write his name and who it's from on that. So for my other son, he wanted these Nerd Ropes Valentine's colors for his class. So we just did a simple text cutout. I will leave this exact project a linked for you guys below if you're interested. And this is just a super simple cutout. You can do this in less than 10 minutes and it just pops right up. This is such a cool custom look and so simple to do. And I'm just gonna put some double stick tape or even a glue dot on the back there and it sticks to the nerd rope because they really want the candy anyway, right? So for these really easy, minimal cards, I'm just gonna open my Cricut Design Space, type in some XOXOs, switch it over to the pen. I'm gonna space these out on my cutting mat. 
um, just to give them a little bit of extra room so that I can cut around them. And I'm gonna use the cardstock material and I'm using these Cricut pins in the 0.4 millimeter and it just pops right in there, super simple. So once you hit go, it literally just writes like a pen on the cardstock and it looks almost like a printer but it looks handwritten if that makes sense it just elevates it but it still looks custom and it is beautiful it's one of my favorite little accessories for the Cricut I'm also going to cut out some little tags with a little scallop design on the end. I will link this project in the description. I'm going to cut these on my little Cricut paper cutter and just put them right onto some cardstock. I'm going to layer them just using a little dab of hot glue. And then I have some little linen uh, ribbon that I just cut off of a piece of linen material that I have. I'm gonna hot glue that onto this little card and voila, it's such a simple, easy card. What I love is that you can just crank a bunch of these out and keep them in a little card box. So if you have, you know, thank you cards or Valentine's cards, anniversaries, birthdays, you can totally just make them ahead of time and just pull them out of your card box. And the possibilities are endless. There's so many ideas and Cricut Design Space has a ton of really simple ideas as well. This little card is so perfect with that little olive tree in the plant it is my favorite thing ever. <laughs> Make sure you visit Cricut.com and get creating today. So this is another favorite treat of mine because it's edible. So I'm gonna take these little salami pieces, fold them in half and then roll them. And they make the cutest little like rose looking treat. And you can poke it with a skewer or toothpick, add some little mozzarella pearls or even cut up some little mozzarella cubes. I just put some dried apricots on there. You can also do grapes or olives. Um, and I love this idea for like coworkers or an office or even your kids. If your kids are little charcuterie fans, this is the best treat. And what I love about it is it's so fancy. <laughs> I found these little craft paper type cups on Amazon. I will link them for you guys and they come with a little lid. So I love that they come with a lid. You can wrap them up with a really cute ribbon, a super cute little tag, and they're all secure in there and they can just go right in the fridge. These are the perfect little treat in my opinion. I love these also for like a favor idea and you can just put them on a large tray, keep them in the fridge and you can even add some little customization to the tag. It is a cute and delicious little gift. So I hope this video helped you guys and gave you a little bit of Valentine's inspiration. Let me know if you are going to try any of these projects. You can always tag me on Instagram. I love, love, love sharing your guys' projects. So make sure you're following me on Instagram and I will catch you guys next time. Thanks for watching.